Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. It's finale time. It is here. Finally. Oh, I say finally, it's too soon. It's too soon. Mentally, I'm like two thirds of the way through the season in my mind. I really thought it was another 13 episode season. I think I only found out about episode eight that it was 10. So, oh man. Um, <clears throat> Not going to do a big intro this time, nothing has changed, it's only been about a 40 minute break for me, so I'm going to go straight into the episode. Without further ado, let's have at it. Oh! Holy shit! Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god. Are you alright? Yes. No. No. I don't know. Oh, oh my god. god. Where's Benner? He's gone. Did it work? All those big energy emitters on the surface have stopped. Every single one of them. The reactor! Stop! Start the reactor! I'm gonna try the reactor again. Yeah, I want to see it again. Woo! Oof. Yes! No, we can okay. go. Get the airport Israel. Not, don't blow out the sky, but you know what I mean. The Barb's reactor is back online. The Edward Israel's too. Edward Israel. Yeah. This is the gunship Rasinante. I have target locked your drive call. Yes! You and me are about to have a very serious conversation. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's three fingers, I think. Can he go on back? Oh, yes! Rasinante, tether is free and clear. Roger that, Baba Piccolo. Correcting orbit now. Yes! Oh, wow! We did it! And we will make the Anders answer for what they did. Yeah. We will all answer for what we did. Oh, Alicia. Bands and dashed with mine in the bell. Ooh. Someone was working here recently. This ship, this wonton transponder off approaching cluster. Back on leaving. Mm. Oh, what were you doing here? Find this ship, put us on course for intercept. Yes, boss man. <clears throat> Maybe we just got another tip. <laughs> oh my god! Get out! <sighs> oh. Unbelievable. A Martian naval officer, mercenary for a vicious belt of thug. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, well, Mars ain't what it used to be. Wow. Yeah, Monaco feels the same. <laughs> Do you know what kind of man Marco is? I'm pretty sure I have a good idea. He's angry, like many Belters his age. Bitter about our lot in life and searching for a way to vent his rage. He is smart, he is brave, yes, very brave, but also very naive because he believes <clears throat> that violence is the only way to get what he feels is his due. You got a lot of company there. Violence is indiscriminate. If you use it as a tool, it will do more than just kill your enemies. Sometimes it will kill the ones you love most. The rings are a chance for all of us to start over again if we can put our old hatreds aside. This is a time for inners and belters to join hands and together build. I actually agree with you. <sighs> I don't know where Marco is, but beating me is not going to change that. Or is all this talk of putting our hate aside just talk? Oh no. 
that was a bad move. <sighs> Shit. This guy. I don't trust that guy. What the hell do you think you're doing? Fuck. You were following him too. You don't trust him either. Oh, back off. I'd happily mop the floor with the three of you again. And when the cops come to break it all up, we can have a nice long conversation about all the rotten things we've done. Sound good? How about we compare notes instead? Hmm? The security codes he's been supplying us with are high level, typically restricted to commanding officers only. They weigh above his pay grade. He's crooked, that's why Isai hired him. Hmm. Isai knows what he's doing. No, he wants the score so bad it's clouding his judgment. Hmm. Think about it. Beltran waltzes in, helps us pull off a few good operations, builds some trust, and then brings in a big fat score. It's low risk, lots of money, it's way too good to be true. You mm. really think it's a setup? Yeah. But why, and why now, after all the jobs we've pulled? I don't know. But mm. I don't like the fact that Isai has no idea what merchandise he's moving. You like Isai. I'm just trying to keep him from doing anything stupid. And me, too, of course. <laughs> that unfortunately is unavoidable <laughs> are you gonna rat us out no the customs agent in the salvage yard he was shaking me down to try and renegotiate this guy he got physical so i did too he took a bad tumble and that was it wow i never meant to kill him I kind of believe her. Wow, poison dwarf. Bit of humanity. Okay, I can get with it. Fucking hell. You prick. Stay. Oh, yes! The bleeding is under control, but he's going to need regrowth gel as soon as possible. I was hoping they'd have that gel so he could grow his fingers back. What do you see in there? It looks more like I felt it. I know that sounds crazy, but... I could feel... the spaces between things. Something was there. A presence. Moving towards me. I felt it too. Every time we go through a ring. You're not crazy. I might rather be. We can talk more about it when I get back to the ship. Well, that looks climbable. God. Wait here. I'll check it out. Maybe we can get a signal up there. Fucking hell. Oh, and Amos. Don't kill him. Don't kill him while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, he has it coming. I know, but it's important to me. Promise. Fuck it. He's got a really bad plan. I think we should kill him. Ooh, look at the moons. Oh, man, the shots this season. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, man. What a sweep. Ooh, here comes the vertigo again. I didn't want Jimmy's job. Whoa! What the fuck? Jim? Can you hear me? Yes, are you alright? <sighs> that depends, are you? We're fine, all of us. Physics and fusion are back to normal. <laughs> Jab, we were showing you roughly 800 kilometers from first landing. Oh, I'm not surprised. How the hell? It's a long story. I'll tell you all about it when you pick us up. We're on our way. Oh my god! So it moved them right into another... Wow! He is not only himself. He is everyone who cares for him. Huh? Does he have a son or a daughter who would seek revenge? Or a father who works in the yards while your ship is repaired? Yes, show your strength, but then show them a smile. <clears throat> and 
Most will give you what you want. Marco knows this. It's what makes him so dangerous. Mm. And keep us in front of their dry pill. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to see us coming. Wow. Marco took two rocks, two chunks of iron. Uh, he's planning an attack. Yes, we're slag asteroids. <sighs> this guy. Yes, throw them at Tycho and even Ceres. Revenge against Fred Johnson, Anderson Dawes for what they tried to do to him. All with the help of Mars. How does any of that help Mars? That's a good, good. question. Good. Well, perhaps our Martian can help us with that. Oh, I think... Yeah, thought so. Oh, shit. The dream of Mars isn't dead. It's about to be written large. Don't do it! Oh, you fucking idiot. Ah. Oh. Shit. Wow. Oh, Alex. You can't fly. Oh. Yay! I did all this to save my family, and now I'm never going to see them again. I'm sure I can talk Holden into bringing them aboard so you guys can have a moment. They will not want to see me. They might. You got to. Whatever happens afterwards, if you don't tell them how you feel, you're always going to regret it. I waited too long with my family. When I was finally ready, to be honest. One thing that's changed is that all the people shooting at each other are either dead or headed for trial. Including Lucia. She didn't mean for anyone to die. She didn't. But they'll still make an example out of her. They probably will. I got the chance to remake myself. Redeem myself. Hmm. Lucia won't get that chance. Can we... No. She won't. And that's a tragedy. Oh, man. Boy, she got thrown out of the Rossi and into space. Despite your best efforts to save her. <gasps> oh, my God! I'd like you to note that in my report. Jim is changed! No more black and white Jim. This is gray Jim. Man, this might actually be good for us. You were the one who sent Holden and the Rossi down to New Terra. Without them, things could have gone much worse. The story would be about how a group of desperate Berta refugees and the Earth scientists overcome their prejudices to stand together against disaster That's good. in an alien world. And they made a fortune. That's good. The villains are dead OPA extremists and murderous corporate security, defeated by the forces of good for the benefit of all. Nancy Gao couldn't have a better narrative if she had written it himself. Fuck. The Vassarala.
Is that Beltran? That was, wasn't it? Oh shit. What's up? He's signed! 